There's something about a steam engine that attracts people to these railway preservation societies, the power of these great locomotives, and I suppose because of that some of us are still enthusiastically trying to recreate the past either in electric or steam locomotion. So I, like others, have a collection of live steam engines made by Hornby. You see them on YouTube and places roaring around the track, looking quite good. But what is their actual controllability? Well, in this short film, perhaps we'll see some of the mistakes and accidents that can happen with the Hornby live steamers in the wrong or the right hands. Take these two engines. One is electric, running on a 0-1 system, and the other one is a steam engine. Both have the same type and quantity of coaches and running around the track you can't see an awful lot of difference in them. The engine appearing now is electric and is slightly more controllable than the steam one. They appear the same, they look the same and maybe the steam's a bit of a giveaway but apart from that they almost sound the same. When looking at the Hornby ad, it looks so easy to reverse up to a coach, pick up your train and perhaps drive off. So let's look now at what's involved in both the electric and steam driven locomotives. Here is a basic system, a train, a track and a controller. Stop it where you want, make it go where you want. Many will be familiar with this operation, reversing onto a coach. Not taking away the speed early enough has caused this crap. Trying the same move from a shorter distance is still very difficult. Now let's see what we can do with the electric system. Two engines on the other side of the track, one steaming, one just sitting ready to go. We move the controller, the engine starts its reversing move and correct its speed and it couples up. With the steam system you hear the motor turning and the whistle which indicates the engine is going into reverse gear. You have to know the engine's characteristics, they're all different like full size engines. You have to take the speed away according to how that engine performs, bringing it down to a reasonable speed so it will pick up the luggage van without any difficulty. Now the same move again, running back, picking up the parcel van and then driving off. First is the electric engine. And away we go. Next comes the steam engine. Uh, I'd like to point out this was all done in one take. So no fiddling or cutting and re-splicing the video. And away we go again. So there you have it, or maybe you don't. The joys of driving live steam. Takes a lot of skill and a lot of practice, and I've still not got it right. Thanks for watching. Bye.